sweltering temperatures, and mounds of Mojave Desert sand. These elements are no match for the 126th Engineer Company with the Idaho Army National Guard as they conduct 12 days of battle simulation exercises at the National Training Center in Fort Irwin, California. It's an opportunity that the National Guard never really gets. Um, mostly uh, active Army units uh, go through the NTC rotations and it's part of proving ourselves. At one of the tactical assembly areas, the 126th uses their backhoes and bulldozers to create a hasty fighting position to protect themselves from an attack. We've had several um, pokes and prods by uh, different uh, guerrilla groups that have tried to come in and uh, because of the uh, counter mobility berm that we've dug, uh, it's actually stopped them from driving their vehicles in. The environmental and living conditions simulate what soldiers would encounter if deployed to the Middle East. However, Reidinger says attitude and outlook can make all the difference. I think we all knew it wasn't going to be easy when we came down here, but I think that the biggest thing is to go ahead and every day take something away from what you put into it and treat this as a learning experience. Bain says despite the difficult conditions, there are many things he appreciates about the experience. Sometimes the conditions out here are a little rough, but um, we've been through so many things together that, you know, when we're together as a team, as an organic unit, we're able to accomplish a lot because we can count on each other and we know how to, it's almost like muscle memory, we know how to operate as a unit. The 126 engineers have worked as a cohesive team, reacting to each simulated scenario they've faced. Their training concludes with a final three-day force-on-force, high-intensity conflict. Reporting in Fort Irwin, California, I'm Army Sergeant Amy Elker.